yesterday, as we mentioned, was Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a nice one. I did. Uh, I spent Valentine's Day with the most romantic person I know. I'm talking, of course, about our show's associate producer, Jordan Slansky. There he oh. is right there, yeah. <laughs> well, nothing says romance <laughs> like, like a Charles Manson-like stare. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, you know, sometimes on the show uh, in the past, I've hung out with Jordan, and I thought I'd, I'd hang out with him on Valentine's Day. So uh, we got together at a local bar to talk about love and uh, just chat about it. Chat about love, romance, and uh, well, here's what happened. Hey, I'm here at Timmy Nolan's Tavern, and uh, it's just a couple of blocks away from the Warner Brothers studio, and I'm sitting with uh, one of our associate producers, Jordan Slansky. Are you the only associate producer, or are there other ones? I'm the only one. Okay, and what does an associate producer do? I have various responsibilities. Okay, are you a romantic person? I believe I am a romantic person. When you first came to our show, you were a quivering nerd. What happened? I find with greater life experience, there's a greater awareness of the outside world and the inside world. What are you reading from? Is there a, <laughs> is there a script back here? How do you dress to attract a woman? What do you like to wear? I feel like it's most important that you're comfortable with yourself. You dress with something that will make you feel comfortable and confident. Right. And the rest is irrelevant. Right. Well, that, so not this, because you look like Jerry Van Dyke on Coach. I don't know what I look like. I'm not familiar with the reference, but I can tell you that I'm very confident. <laughs> Do you think you could get married one day, or do you prefer the life of a swinging single? I think it's a fallacy to expect that you can predict your future, but these are things I anticipate might happen. I can predict your future. You're fired if you don't answer my questions succinctly. I'm drinking, and it's, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's never a good sign. Uh, I want to hear what, what turns you on physically about a lady. Do you like it when they're showing a little, uh, got the headlights on, there's a little cleavage? The puppies are on display in the window. Um, they put their moccasins out to be cleaned by the hotel staff. Do you like it when the, the two bald priests are staring out the highway window from the bus? Boobules, what do you, is that, do you like that kind of look? I find that there's a general consistency between the way somebody looks on the outside and the way they are on the inside. If you talk about the inside one more time, I'm gonna pull your face off with my hands. Is this something you would ever give a girl you were interested in? Possibly. Really? It's not as romantic as you think. This is a bear that was born with its heart outside its chest cavity. <laughs> Look at the bear, it's like, I, kill me. Kill me, I want to die my heart outside my chest. <laughs> no, 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 bear. No. 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 Anyway, I, hey, take it easy. Now, you and I have talked about a lot of hypotheticals. I'd like to see what a, a woman thinks. So I've asked one of our researchers, Sarah Bruno, to join us. Sarah, try your approach on Sarah. How are you? Fine, how are you? You know, this is the first Irish bar I've been to in Los Angeles, and I find that it's really different than the ones that there were in New York. It's almost more upscale, and I didn't even know they were popular here. Now, what did you think of that approach? Uh, very talkative. Uh, very talkative. I haven't been to an Irish bar. I've noticed this. I've done that. Me, 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 me. What are you, an opera singer? Me, 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 me. Uh, I think our notes for Jordan are say less. Mm hmm. Definitely. Don't shop at Kids Gap. <laughs> Physically relax a little bit. Yeah. Open up. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, See, those parts move. I like that. Jordan, you're back to your pose. Look what happened to you naturally. You contracted. You I know? think it's important to be in a pose that makes you comfortable and relaxed. Sure. I know this. This is a Tai Chi position. It's called rod up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you have it. Nobody's learned anything, and I'm drinking at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>